he was being moved in front of the repressive role of the committee. Indeed, by that time the KGB allowed him outdoor advertising. Gorbachev was saved by a miracle. But one can say that it was a man-made miracle. The general secretaries, Andropov and Chernenko, who in theory should have been cherished by the doctors of the fourth control of the Ministry of Health of the USSR, still haunt many experts and historians. Whatever it was, but after coming to power Mikhail Gorbachev immediately destroyed the team of experts of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of the USSR, who were monitoring the scandalous Stavropol drug trafficking. Some had to resign and some had to retire. But the southern focus of the general secretary only strengthened. It's not by accident that Gorbachev pulled out the Georgian shed Renanze, putting him in a key area, foreign policy, appointing the man who had no relation to diplomatic work, Edward Shevardnadze, as Minister of Foreign Affairs of the USSR. Shevardnadze covered Gorbachev from the rear. Together they quietly, and not without benefit to themselves, surrendered the foreign policy positions of a great country. They have gone too far. They could have been at secret services. Therefore, to avoid a role of the committee, Gorbachev and Shevardnadze deliberately forced the processes of the collapse of the USSR. After the famous Malta summit in December of 1989, General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev and American President George H.W. Bush said that their countries are no longer adversaries. On the eve of the historic meeting the terrible storm occurred. It seemed like nature itself wanted to prevent something, to prevent some terrible tragedy. Knowledgeable people said that during the negotiations on the deck of the Soviet ship, the woozy American journalist appeared who, in perfect Russian, told his colleagues, Guys, your country is finished. In the last years of Perestroika the country was in chaos. To the Remarks of disturbed officials of the party apparatus that something is wrong. Gorbachev cheerfully replied, everything is accounted for. But the processes were being monitored not only in the old square. In April of 1991 there was a meeting of the Moscow. City Party Committee. Secretary of the CPSUMG K. Yuri Prokofiev announced the day's agenda. It appeared that the Moscow Party Organization Group together with a unit of secretaries of the Siberian and Ural Party Organizations, including committees of the largest industrial enterprises, were introducing only one item at the upcoming meeting, the dismissal of the General Secretary of the CPSU Central Committee Mikhail Gorbachev. But Gorbachev beat his opponents behind the scenes. It so happened that the meeting was moved to the end of August. In between it was planned to sign the designed union treaty in Novo Ogrevo, 
Let's assume that Vladimir Kuyukov and his comrades hadn't appeared in August of 1991. The meeting of the CTSU Central Committee have occurred. President Gorbachev would have been removed from power. The future course of events could have developed as follows. The Communist Party loses its influence. Centering the path of reform was split into two or three parties, that same and Gripov. Option. Planning to run the transition to a market economy Chinese-style democracy gets built, but not by false Western patterns. With such a combination both Gorbachev and Boris Yeltsin would have been withdrawn from the big game. So the State Committee on the State of Emergency objectively played into the hands of Mikhail Gorbachev, who thus tried to beat the party opposition. Yeltsin also would have won. In the case of signing the Union Treaty he would have retained the post of Chairman of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the RSFSR. However, after the August plot the chances were missed. One day one of the former presidents of a former Federal Republic asked Gorbachev, why are you tearing our people away from the Russians? In response, Gorbachev just lowered his eyes. He betrayed those who first believed his demagogy and expected him to bring the country out of the political and economic impasse by only one maneuver, playing on the principle ours and yours. Selfishness in life and in politics, personal irresponsibility, that is the verdict of history. The head of supervision of the execution of the laws of the State Security Prosecutor's Office of the USSR Victor Pilyukin now the State Duma Deputy on November 4, 1991 filed a criminal case against Mikhail Gorbachev under the Article of Treason. Two days later Hilyukin was fired. I believe that there should be a public tribunal concerning Mikhail Gorbachev. On my initiative, from December 2 to 22 of 2005, conducted the action public tribunal over Mikhail Gorbachev for the collapse of the USSR and crimes against his people. Gorbachev was condemned by 56,298 people.